Daisy Willisie County Judge John Gonzalez says when he first took office four years ago, he set many goals to move the county in the right direction. And now as the clock winds down for him to leave the, his post, Gonzalez says the positive change is taking place. In just one week, Willisie County Judge John Gonzalez will be leaving his seat and making room for a newly elected judge, Aurelio Guerra. Today, he reflects on the positive growth he's credited for bringing to the county during his four-year term. We have a lot of new businesses coming in. They've seen the, the good, positive changes that we've done here. And, and I'm proud to say we, we got done what we wanted to get done, and the changes are good. Making those changes wasn't easy. Gonzalez says he faced some obstacles. The biggest problem I faced here was my county has not changed in over 30 years. Um, you know, there's still some of those powers, the old guard here, that seems like they just want to keep it the same way that it is. Instead, Judge Gonzalez focused on attracting new businesses that would create jobs, a plan that worked, bringing down the unemployment rate to the lowest he says it's been in the last 15 years. The coming in of the turbines, the fixing of the streets, the construction boom that we have going right now, uh, we've been able to create enough jobs. Uh, a number of new businesses have, have started to move in. Uh, since I took office, a new mom and pop businesses on an annual, on a, on a monthly basis, uh, we used to have about 10 to 12 new businesses opening on a regular basis. We're now up to about 18 to 20. Road repairs also a top priority with many projects continuing right now. And so Sebastian will have all 100% brand new roads. Uh, Lasada has 100% brand new roads. Uh, we're fixing the drainage in, in San Perlita. Uh, we're almost done with probably the worst road in Raymondville, which is San Francisco Road. And um, so we accomplished that goal. We're able to put brand new roads and drainage in, in our, in our uh, uh, most in the colonies that needed the money the most. And he leaves with one suggestion for the new county judge, focus on education. In my county, we have a little over 50% of the population that's from 18 to 45 years old that, is, that does not even have a GED. Uh, so until we can lower that number and have our, get more of our people educated, which is, and I'm just talking GED, high school diploma, then our labor force can be looked at as being trainable so that we can finally bring in a large industry.